Welcome to the shop. Hope you're having a great day. All right, time to get back on this cleaver and grind some bevels out. Are you ready? Here we go. Welcome back. All right, woo, man, this thing has been a beast. Wait till you see all the heat treating and bevels and all the stuff we get to go through to get it to here. I etched it, but that's going to be in the next video. I just wanted to put it on camera. Man, that hamon looks nice. <laughs> yeah, man. All right, make sure to comment. Let me know what you would do different or what you like that I did or if you got any ideas, any of that stuff, you know, just leave some comments. Let us know what's going on. Let us know what's going on with your knife build. Any of that stuff. You know, we all need to pull together in these times, man. Woo! It's rough. I'll put my website up here, which has knives on it, shirts on it, all that good stuff. Amazon links, even though Amazon isn't working, but they're there. Maybe you'll find something. <laughs> all right, let's just get to it. So last night I painted everything up. Got the cleaver. I got the two kitchen knives. I didn't paint Dexter's knives because this is 52100. This isn't getting any scale either. 52100 and 80 CRB, anything with chrome, you don't want to put any scale on. From my experience, it makes it a lot lower. Like, a, a, you know, right out of heat tree, comes out like a 59 instead of like a 63 or 64. All right. I actually got some new anti scale. So let's open this bad boy. I need to go get my paintbrush. I almost forgot. Man, it's been so long since I've done any, bought any new anti scale. It'll be interesting to see the difference because the other stuff dried up and I just keep putting uh, water in it and mixing it up. So I'm thinking uh, like Lowe's, Lowe's, Lowe's Harp, the guy that did the Damascus, me and him did a Damascus collab. I'll put the link up here. It's a pretty awesome knife. He put it in a mason jar, so I might have to do that. Yeah, see, I already got it back there. <laughs> That's the problem with it. You get it back in these back seams. And it dries up and you can't get the lid on and then it dries up even more. I normalize this off camera and all that stuff. You know, if you watched the last video, that was the last thing I was doing, getting this ready for normalization. I put it in the package. I've got a whole bunch of other videos on heat treating that I'll put up here. Is that better? <laughs> I'm like bending down to talking to the camera. <laughs> this new stuff don't want to stick. Give it some, give it some uh, incentive. Got some sandpaper here. Now I'm back here, I like to keep it thin on the blade and on the back I don't really care how thick it is or how much I paint my hands instead of the blade. <laughs> So that's all I'm going to do to the other two, the, the kitchen knives. Never used to sit there and paint three knives up. <laughs> all right, next will be heat treating. So check out this setup. Yeah, man. <laughs> I got the Instagram and I got the YouTube kicking. Just killing time and making sure everything's set up and ready to go. Now I just got to remember to hit play and I'll be good to go. Third camera here and whew, yeah, man. <laughs> I'm gonna put the 51, 5160. I'm gonna put the 52100 in first because uh, it's gonna stay in the longest. You know, no anti scale, nothing like that. So, yeah, 1500. The oven's been at 1500 for about five, ten minutes. So when I open the door, it shouldn't go down too quick. But uh, yeah, 15 minutes, 1500. Yeah, nice. We only went down to like uh, 1460 or something like that. So we're good. All right. I don't know what camera to look at. Instagram or YouTube? I'm split. <laughs> Our temps are at 
112. All right. It is time. <laughs> here's my good glove. Here's my wipe off glove. My other side glove. <laughs> uh, well, they get these gloves on. I can't put these tongues apart. All right. Woo! All right. Yeah, I'm not worried about Hamones. I got the, the smoke alarms off the ceiling. So yeah, 52-100, we just put it in, get a good quench, get it all taken care of, cool it out, get our wipe off glove, just wipe it on down. All right, we'll wait a little bit, then we'll go get this tested. <laughs> yeah, man. I wonder which one is heavier, this or that machete, because this feels a little bit heavier, even though the machete was longer. Woo! All right, 10.95, we only need five minutes, so, all right. But we are down to uh, 1,400, so it'll take a while to build back up. There was plenty of time for everything to cool down. Yeah, see, we're at 150 with our oil, so. So it's been about 10 minutes. Our temps are down to 125, 126. I don't know if we can see that. 130, no, <laughs> I pointed that way. Yeah, 128, 129, something like that. <laughs> Wipe off my tongues. Now we got the hormone on this and I gotta be careful because it's heavy, but uh, yeah, here we go. That fire was going a little too high, so I question, usually I only do the corners, but Woo! <laughs> yeah, good thing I took the smoke alarms off, huh? <laughs> Woo! Yeah. At least I got it in there. Now it's not wanting to cooperate. All right. Put it down here. Make sure it don't burn my face as I bend over. <laughs> Woo! One time. Alright. Kitchen knife in. Here we go. Oh. Right, I'm gonna have to open this door. It's already, let's see, we're at, we're at like 1450, 1440. Yeah, let's open this door just a little bit more. See where our temps are at? 205, yeah, we need some time to cool down. <laughs> All right, I'm just gonna do this one kitchen knife on camera, and then the other one I'll do off camera because it's the same thing. All right, here we go. That's about it for tonight. For this, I got one more to do and then call it a night. Well, temper and all that. Maybe I'll come back on temper and, all right, we'll see. To knife, 67, 68. Yeah, we're looking good. Yeah, man. <laughs> That's what I like to see. Uh, boom, 66. Yep. Looking good, looking good. 
All right, first kitchen knife about a 64. Here's the cleaver. 65. Boom, probably won't see that. <laughs> 65, doesn't even touch it. In the back, it bites here because that's where the clay was. But here, nothing. I think I can get all these in the tempering oven. I might have to do some caddy quartering and uh, magic, but we'll get it to work. <laughs> all right. I got them all in there. Look, I had to caddy corner the cleaver up, but they're in there. <laughs> yeah, man. All right. I'll see you tomorrow or whenever the, I start working on them again. <laughs> I was a little worried about this, uh, you know, being too big. But then I realized I don't have to do up here. This is the bevel, so I'm going to miss right here a little bit. So we should be good. I just have to bring the belt up like that. So, <laughs> all right, let's get it. <laughs> Even comes off a lot easier. <laughs> Look at that. Nice. <laughs> Might as well, that was 120. Might as well go up to uh, 865. I'll just montage that all in. There we go, 8.30. <laughs> I like how I just pull this off without worrying about my fingers getting snapped. But uh, yeah, let's get on bevels. I got the Dexter knife and the kitchen knife to do, but it's the same thing as this, and I'm doing those off camera anyway. Got the 50 from the last one. Just break the 90s, and uh, whew, we're actually almost, we only got a little bit on this side, but let's do it. Let's get a, I think I'm going to just do a 36 and plow through this. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> I guess I'll try this one if I can bring it down without, it's so long though, by the time I get it down here, my finger's sitting on the belt. Gonna have to give it our all. <laughs> Burn a few fingers. Kind of works too holding it this with this and then you know putting pressure here so that kind of worked for me not too bad i feel like we might have to do some hand sanding on this bad boy but for the most part she ain't too bad 
A lot better than that first video, which I'll put up in the cards. <laughs> Man, I was struggling. Yeah, see on this end, I don't have to worry about it because I can hold all the weight right here. <laughs> so I only have to worry about pressing right there. <sighs> We're getting there now. I shouldn't tell you all this. I missed them on this side. My, my sight, <laughs> I'm going blind. I can't see, but I can tell it's fatter right here when I'm hitting here and I'm right on the line. And I can see right here I missed, so let me hit this side. Got to make it good or perfect or close as we can. Yeah, man. <laughs> well, there's 36 grit. Let's uh, go up to 120 and see where we're at. 120, brand new. Let's get this thing busted out. <laughs> no swooping plunge today. Guess we'll move the belt back. <laughs> So just in case you've never watched any of my other videos on grinding bevels and stuff like that, I'll make sure to put them up in the cards. But uh, at 120, make sure you have everything how you want it. Because after 120, you're just refining it. That's why you see me, I see spots up here. So I'm putting all my pressure up here, trying to make it all smooth here and get all these little facets out. You know, I'm not too worried about back here, but we'll slowly move our fingers down you know, and then get it here. And anytime you see a, a spot, like a facet down here, that's a low spot. Everything has to come over that. Or down to that, I should say. All right, let's get this side, and then we'll touch it all up, and then go to uh, the next belt. That's what I'm talking about, like that. That's a low spot, so everything's got to come down over it. See, I used to think it was backwards. I had to get that out. The only way to get that out is bring everything down over it. All right. This video is going to be real long if I don't, I'm just going to go A65, just like the service grinder, A65, A45, A30. I might skip A45, but we'll see how it looks. So A65, A30, then we'll come back on the um, higher belt. We'll see where we get.
is that Norex again? I guess it's N O R E X. Yeah, Norex. A16. Yeah, A16. All right. <laughs> We're getting there. I've been trying to kind of do the flats a little bit too, but I noticed one thing I can hold it here instead of using the magnet. <laughs> so you might see me doing that just to get that straight line. belt and then uh, the mesh I guess I just did 1200 the micro mesh and then uh, we'll go dip it oh and a word of advice when you're holding the cleaver like that make sure that you know where the belt is <laughs> you can see it fits perfectly with the belt <laughs> There we go. <laughs> Whew, so that's about it. I went ahead and etched it, but this video is way too long. So I'll put that in the start of the next video when we do handles and all that good stuff. Yeah, man. I actually bought some handles, but then they're only like this big. I forgot. So I got a piece of Coca Bolo that's, you know, big enough. We'll just have to cut it down and all that good stuff. But that'll come in the next video. Ooh, as I almost drop it. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff we always tell you to do. My website's up in the cards and the first down in the link. My email's down there, Instagram, all that good stuff. Hope you're staying safe, man. Let's let's uh, pull together on this quarantine stuff and help each other out. Do whatever we can. Thanks for watching. Hope you're having a great day. And as always, take it easy.